Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to one of our videos. Uh, this is one of our expert graders. Her name is Willow. Um, she sends in all of our Morgan dollars to be graded. She's got a really good eye, but uh, aside from the jokes, uh, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about how connections build collections. And basically what that means is that uh, there's a whole lot of uh, sales on lines in terms of coins and there's a whole lot of different dealers out there and there's a whole different line of pricing for different coins but um, the way you find the best coins and the coins that you love is having the best customer service and having a dealer that you can count on to uh, bring you those coins and uh, that's the same way for a dealer as well um, I wouldn't be anywhere without the community I have and um, uh, you're going to see that today with a whole lot of coins that we got. So uh, let me take these coins over to the light box, show you guys everything that we got, and thank our viewers for helping us out. Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acusha Collectibles. Just made it up to the light box. Um, if you guys hear anything in the background today, just know that my puppies are uh, around me, so they might be making a few <laughs> a few sounds. Um, but the premise of today's video is um, connections build collections, and they also build coin dealers too. Um, coin dealers um, and, and collectors always are looking for the right price, always are looking for more uh, in their collection, and so... Um, the connections that you build along the way are going to be super vital if you want to build a collection uh, that is affordable or you want to build a company where you can uh, start to tailor your coins to other customers that might need them. So we have three people that I want to mention today um, while I'm showing off this beautiful uh, Carson City. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Robert. He sent me a bunch of coins um, and Mr. Michael, he sent me a bunch of coins and then also uh, Jake, he sent me a coin as well. Um, and so you're watching a video today entitled basically what what everything that's happening it's uh, uh, the connections that I had um, ended up finding me this huge group of beautiful coins so um, it's kind of hard to find a CC and a rattler right now so uh, Robert sent me this beautiful coin and I'm so thankful he did um, someone's gonna really enjoy this in the rattler or just regular collection uh, I love the blast wave finish, a little touch of uh, toning on the reverse, but an amazing coin. Up next, we got another one from Mr. Robert. We're going to kind of break these up into uh, the different people that we got them from. Uh, this one has a little bit more toning on it, which is okay. It's, kinda almost, it's got the uh, post fatty uh, holder in there as well. Um, nice mint state 64 grade. These coins are super hot right now. Um, but when you get them for a, a decent price, you're able to offer them and pass the savings on so it's a little bit easier for your customers. But uh, I do enjoy uh, you know, the unique characteristics about a coin, so this one's pretty nice as well. Up next, we have this 1885 CC. Mr. Roberts just sent me all the beautiful CCs, but... Uh, I really like this one too. It's just a really, uh, it's a better date. Um, and m most of my customers, when they're looking around, they're saying, hey, uh, I don't really need a 83cc or 84cc or 82cc or even a 78cc. I'm looking for an 85cc. And uh, this grade's MS62, just because of all the chatter in the fields. But uh, like I said, it's a nice blast white coin. And most people are hunting those down right now and wanting one for their collection. So. Uh, just an immaculate piece and uh, let's start to move into some peace dollars because I like peace dollars and as you know we've been on a pretty big kick uh, as of recently with peace dollars trying to move into them and find uh, you know some collectors that would be interested um, it's been going pretty well so far um, if you buy the right coin like we've discussed in previous videos um, and you you have the connections for it um, it, it's always going to be a decent return for you and you end up finding the people that love it. So um, the thing I, I, you're going to see a trend in this video is the luster on these coins are really, really nice. And the reason being is because most of these came out um, of a collection. Um, Mr. Robert said, hey, I, I don't need these extras, but I would like some coins from you. So I ended up sending some nice coins to him as well. And so um, 
All these were handpicked by him, and he wouldn't go home without a beautiful coin from a coin show or a coin shop. So you're seeing the lifeblood of his, of his uh, picking style in uh, these, these few coins. So thank you again, Mr. Robert. Up next, we're going to be showing you guys uh, some more peace dollars, um, but from Mr. Michael. Uh, I met Michael on uh, Facebook a little bit uh, a while ago, but then when I went up to the Atlanta show, um, and uh, I actually met him at the show with his daughter, and then we also actually sold some coins to him at his home as well. Um, I reached out to him the other day, and I said, hey, do you have any extra stuff or any extra inventory that you want to move, uh, move with and sell? And he said, uh, heck yeah, man, I got some stuff. So we ended up uh, talking on Facebook, and he ended up sending me a really nice group. Uh, extremely flashy, very desirable. Um, the 22D is a little bit of a better date, so um, these go, go for a little bit uh, higher of a premium. Um, and you just have that beautiful, beautiful blast white finish. Wow. And I love the cartwheels kind of on the reverse, too. It's kind of like these waves you see, but very beautiful. All right, and the next coin's really, really cool. I've never actually held one of these in hand before. This is a 1934S, graded AU53. You can kind of see this little hint of rainbow on there. Um, well, like we discussed in a few previous videos, sometimes they, they kind of do the questionable color over at PCGS, um, but for NGC, they kind of let a few more through. But with the 34S, and it's an extremely hard date to find. Um, this coin is is really nice, and um, many people are just hunting this down because they need it for either uh, either for their collection, and they don't want to spend uh, mint state pricing on stuff. Um, and some people also are maybe looking for some color as well. So that's a, a unique plus to this coin. And last but not least, we have one more uh, blast white coin, a little bit of Tony on it. Um, this is a 1935 MS63, super, super flashy. Uh, the luster is beaming off the coin. I just think this coin might, uh, I thought it had a chance of being a higher grade. But taking a second look on the reverse, you can kind of see some a lot of hits coming down off the high point here. Um, but that's okay. Um, 35 is a little bit of a better date. And I was messaged by a few uh, few collectors saying, hey, uh, the 35 you had in recently and 65 was really nice. Do you have any more? And so Michael hooked me up with this beautiful coin, and I want to thank Michael again for sending me this beautiful group. Alrighty, so up next we have a coin from Mr. Jake on Instagram. He is a, a really cool coin collector. Um, he likes the low ball kind of stuff, but um, the 21s are a little bit of a better date, and people like to collect these. And the unique part about this coin is when we flip it over, it has like a rotated die, which I think is pretty unique. You don't find too many 21s with any unique uh, qualities to it. A lot of people just throw stuff up and say, hey, you know, I got a 21. And um, the thing about this coin that I like is the rotated die. I didn't even actually realize that until I received it. So uh, thank you, Jake. I really do appreciate uh, the thing that this beautiful coin that you sent me. Alrighty, and last but not least, I want to show you guys this beautiful 1879O. So I actually found this one on eBay, and uh, this, this seller had a bunch of stuff. Um, it was a lot of it was overpriced, but he just posted something new on there. Uh, I look up a lot of new listings on eBay, and so when this coin popped up, he wanted like 120 bucks for it or something really absurd and cheap. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the 79O. Is the lowest minted out of the three uh, the three mints during that uh, that time. So um, this coin graded uh, mint state 62 uh, fetches around uh, 225 dollars in its grade. But um, so I'm very excited and glad that I was able to acquire this coin. Um, I know that many of like I said many collectors that I know and many people that I have clients for um, they. They aren't looking for the 79S, you know, they already have that, or the 79P, that one's pretty common too. But the 79O is uh, a really hard specimen to find, especially for a decent price. And so when I get a coin like this, like I said, I try to pass the savings on to my customer. Um, so it's going to be probably well off retail and um, very affordable for you guys. So um, 
If you guys are interested in any coins, always hit up the website. Uh, we are always uh, trying to connect you guys with uh, newer coins for, for your collections, so make sure to stop on by over there. But I want to thank you guys for looking through all these coins, and remember, connections build collections. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you did learn something new, please leave a like. If you want to see more coin content, uh, make sure to subscribe. We upload three times a week, so stay tuned for things that uh, we're learning about the marketplace and some things that might actually help you too with your collecting or your coin dealing experience. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Uh, please comment what your favorite coin from this video was so I can start to look for more things that you might enjoy in the grade that you desire. So thank you guys again for watching. This has been Drew with the Kushu Collectibles, and I will see you next time.